Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, if you're watching this, you have already completed parts one and two in that you have selected a topic and you have completed the preliminary research and that proposal form and are probably doing a little bit of research, but are curious as to, you know, hey, where, where is this going? What am I doing with this? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain to you the presentation piece itself. Okay. So I'm going to share my screen with you. The document is in... Um, Google Classroom, uh, part three, the presentation. Um, so we'll just share this over and uh, we'll go through. So HL Pol Global Politics uh, video presentation, part three. So if you recall from the other day, uh, this is an integral part of the IB curriculum and you're gonna do this one video this year and you're gonna do one video next year. So what we've done is we've decided, so originally um, this project was gonna be your written, the multiple choice final exam, essentially, uh, for global politics. You weren't gonna do a, a multiple choice exam. Well, now there's no exams anymore, but you're gonna put you know, a lot of work into this and we wanna make sure that you get rewarded uh, for how hard you are gonna work and how much time this is gonna take you to prepare um, by making this worth something um, in terms of your overall grade. So this is gonna be worth um, about 10% of your overall grade for this course, your grade 11 course. Now, if once this is all said and done, we notice, man, the kids really nailed it across the board. The kids did awesome. We can bump that up to reward you even more, okay? So um, let's talk about the presentation itself. Now, for IB, um, right, when we send these away next year, this is 20% of your IB awarded mark, 10% for video one, 10% for video two. Now, let's just focus on the presentation itself, okay? So before you begin practicing your presentation, okay, what we want you to look at, right? So you've done the research part and you're putting things together for your presentation. Kind of this checklist. Is your topic a political issue? Have you analyzed it rather than just summarized it? Do you include multiple perspectives? do you include multiple levels of analysis and do you include course concepts okay with your own definitions not the textbook definition per se so basically when you look at this right so bullets three four and five global politics is looking for those buzzwords those levels of, and this is, you know, from a global perspective, from a regional perspective, um, you know, this links to power, uh, this links to human rights, right, from the perspective of a realist, uh, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So those keywords, those buzzwords are gonna be really important, okay? So just before we get into how do you put your presentation uh, together itself, uh, presentations will begin Monday, June the 3rd and run over the course of about a 10 to 14 day period. Right, naturally, there are a lot of you, um, and this is going to take us some time to get through. Okay, how are we going to do this? Okay, so that we've got a procedure to this. Okay, use the schedule to sign up for a specific date and time to have a Google Meet with one of the IB teachers to record. Okay, um, you can record with your classroom teacher, you can record with a different teacher, it doesn't matter. The rubric is the same for everyone, and ultimately speaking, we'll be storing this stuff together. Um, if the dates and times there don't work for you, please reach out to your teacher and we will figure something out, okay? Again, there on the bottom in red, if you don't have the technology to meet your teacher in a Google Meet, please reach out um, and we'll figure this all out together, okay? On a kind of a case-by-case -case basis, okay? Second bullet there, when you go to meet us in a Google Meet and record, Okay. Typically, we would be doing this at school. and We don't really know how IB is going to react. Um, you know, kids all over the world are filming this from home, um, but we want to make sure that you don't get penalized for that. So we want you to find a location in your house, ideally, uh, if, you have a, if, you're, if you're doing this on a, a laptop or a tablet or something like that, um, that has a blank wall. It doesn't matter what color, but a blank wall, um, right? We don't want your bed or your bookcase um, in the background in an ideal world. If that's completely unavoidable, then you know what? We'll go with it, we'll work with it, not a problem. Um, this presentation must be recorded by a teacher, okay? You can't record it at home by yourself on your phone or mom and dad and send it to us. It must be recorded by your teacher, by a teacher, 
Um, and this is an actual requirement from IB. As teachers, we have to validate the authenticity of your video, that it was done in one take from beginning to end. Okay? Both you and your teacher who is recording will receive a copy of the recording. We will be storing them um, in a shared drive, a teacher drive um, at school in preparation to send them away next year. Okay? You must also submit a video cover sheet. This will get sent to IB. But for now, we'll use a school generated version. Basically, it'll be exactly the same. You'll find it in Google Classroom here. I won't go through it with you. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then in the fall, when we're back together at school, we'll have you transfer this over to the official IB document. So preparing for the presentation, okay? We've mentioned this before, but this is, a, this is an oral presentation. This is a stand and deliver in an empty room type of, of presentation, okay? You can't use a PowerPoint or visual aids for this task. Um, you can have some cue card reminders, but you cannot read a script or slides or anything like that. And you might think, oh, well, man, Delino's not in my room, uh, you know, watching me do this. So I'll just, you know, have a different screen open and I'll just read my script off my screen. Well, as you can see, that is what I'm doing uh, essentially, right? Have I have these visual aids on my computer and you can tell when I'm looking at you um, versus when I am reading off the screen. So here, bear with me. I'll read to you off the screen and you watch my eyes to see if you can tell if I'm reading or not. Um, you may find it helpful to consider some guiding questions when you begin to think about how you will structure your presentation. It may be helpful for you to create a central question. You can tell that I'm reading, right? We don't want you doing that, right? Because um, it could invalidate your uh, presentation. We know you're gonna be nervous. So one of the things that we can do, right, to help you is keep that Google Meet screen open with us and we'll turn, we can turn our camera off on our side so you can't see us, you'll just see a picture and it'd be just like you talking to that picture or a blank screen, an empty room. Um, alternatively, if you prefer to feel like Zoe, you're talking to a person, you can leave, uh, we can leave that camera on on our side. So, um, the like I said, so you can't use the visual aid. Now, if you had a graph that you wanted uh, to show, uh, you could do that, but we ask you to do that very cautiously and talk to us about that beforehand, okay? Um, so in terms of preparing for your presentation, okay, it probably is gonna be helpful for you to create a central guiding question, right? Linked to your political issue um, that you attempt to answer. Right? What is the kind of inquiry question? Things to think about. How am I going to set the stage? Which points and perspectives will I include? How will I include them? Right? All things to think about now that you're moving from research to an actual presentation. Okay? Um, ultimately speaking, um, it's important that you don't make the mistake of just describing an issue. You want to analyze that issue by exploring your chosen real world example within your global challenge okay break it down into parts okay identify the different um components explore the connections okay um really want to get away from that description and summary you're not telling us a story you're breaking it down okay so the presentation itself like we said okay um you're not using a powerpoint or visual aids IB does say you can use a visual aid, like a table, a graph, a map, a photo, um, but you'll see this word carefully. I'm even gonna change its color to highlight it. Um, carefully employed only to enhance an argument, um, right? It should not, you should not have something running kind of in the background the whole time. Um, when using cue cards or notes, Right, you can have you know limited um, kind of cue cards or something um, that has a prompt on it, so you don't forget. Uh, right, if you're some keywords or or whatever, but the content cannot be written out and read out loud. Ultimately speaking, right, this is going to take some practice. Right, practice, practice, practice. Um, right, if you you essentially you don't need to memorize your script, but you need to be confident enough with your material that you can speak fluently and eloquently um, about it. So practice, practice, practice. If you want to meet your teacher in a Google Meet to practice, just shoot us an email. We'd be happy to meet you in a Google Meet so that you can practice and get comfortable with what that looks like. 
oh, got to get rid of that extra page in there. So what we have for you uh, within this, this booklet as well um, is a possible structure overview. You do not need to follow these kind of overview guidelines. This is just an example of what it could look like if you're not sure where to go. I'm not going to read through each of the main parts, just kind of the big headings here, right? Some sort of introduction, your main points, right? The, the backbone of your discussion, um, right? After you've identified your main points, embellish and support them, um, effective use of transitions, um, and then your conclusion. But we'll let you read through that because it's not a prescription. There's no, this is how you do it, right? It's not like a recipe where you're baking cookies and you got to add the milk at this time, or I guess you're not using milk with cookies, but um, right, butter at this point and sugar at this point, um, right? There's no prescription, okay? Um, so we have uploaded, um, and I hope it works, and if it doesn't work, please email me. Um, and Ms. Delano, and I'll make sure that we, we get that uploaded so that it works properly. We have uploaded an example from the IB program. This is directly from uh, the IB teacher website uh, that they have given us as here's a good example. Um, so watch it, it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes seems like an eternity, but once you start talking, 10 minutes is not that long. Okay, so that's where that practice piece comes in. If you're coming in at five, six minutes, you need to bump that up. If you're pushing eight, nine, 10, perfect. Um, so we've uploaded the, the, the demo or the presentation example. Um, it's not flashy, but the speaker speaks confidently um, about her topic. And um, I'm pretty sure if I recall right, it's a girl, uh, right? Speaks confidently about the topic, just has, you know, a cue card or two um, and no visual aid, no presentation, no PowerPoint, right? It's not flashy at all. Um, but the content is very well delivered. So make sure that you watch it so that you have, or a piece of it, so that you have an idea of what this is going to look like, okay? And then, like we said, you're gonna do this again next year, okay? If you've got any questions, please reach out to your teacher. Like we said, um, also, please sign up for a Google Meet time. Um, if you have concerns about um, your topic, the research, the presentation itself, please reach out. If those Google Meet times don't work for you, please reach out. If you don't have the technology to meet us in a Google Meet uh, live with a mic and a camera like this, please reach out. Um, we want to help mitigate any challenges that might be there um, and solve problems on a case-by-case -case basis. So again, moral of the story, please reach out. Have a great day, everyone.